Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about quadratic probing. Now quadratic probing is a method for resolving collisions in hash table insertions. So here I have the algorithm. It says set counter j equal to zero, then get the hash value uh, called h is our hash function, which takes in a value k, which is our key, and it's equal to k plus j squared modded by the table size. Then if the hash table at that index h of k, which returns our hash value or our index value, if the hash table at that index is empty, we insert the key and we stop. Else, the space is occupied and we must find the next available space, so we increment j by 1 and then we compute a new hash value using the same function, h, and then we repeat step 3 till j is equal to the table size, and if it is equal to the table size, then the hash table is full and we stop. So. Here we have the problem. We want to insert the following numbers into a hash table of size seven using the hash function h of the key value, which is equal to key mod seven. Now something to note here, make sure my marker is good. h of key value equals key mod seven. This is equal to our hash function here, which is key plus j squared mod 7. Just going to make sure I, there you go. Because right now our j value is equal to 0. So this is equal to key plus 0 squared mod 7, which again is just equal to key mod 7. So I just want to make sure I explained that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and insert these numbers here, these values or keys into our hash table. So I'm going to go ahead and create the hash table. It's a hash table of size 7. And here we go. So it's going to be index 0 to 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can write my value in there. 5, 6. Okay. So to start off, we get the value 76 that we want to insert into this hash table. So we get 76. I'm going to use the hash function. H of 76 is equal to 76 mod 7, which gives us the value 6. So at index 6, we insert... 76. All right. Next up, we get uh, 40. We want to insert. So we put that into our hash function. We get 40 mod 7, which gives us the value 5. So in index 5, we put the value 40. All righty. Moving along here. We get, uh, we get to 48. We want to insert 48 into our hash table. We use the hash function. 48 mod 7, and 48 mod 7, I believe this gives us the value 6. So now we have what's called a collision, two different keys mapping to the same index value. So what we need to do is use our quadratic probing alg algorithm here. So what we do is we now increase our j value. So Again, we have h of 48 is equal to 48 plus, now we get 1 squared mod 7, and this gives us 0, or 49 mod 7, which is 0. So in index 0, I put the value 48. Okay. Now we want to insert the value 5 into our hash table. So using the same hash function, put 5. 5 mod 7 is equal to 5. We have another collision. So now our, we use our uh, algorithm here, increment j by 1. So hash of 5 is equal to 5 plus 1 squared mod 7, which equals 6. And we still have a collision, so we increment again, 
and we get h of 5 is equal to 5 plus 2 squared mod 7. Now remember this is all in parentheses. And I should probably make sure that make that very um, uh, obvious in the previous step. So this is going to equal, let's see, 2 squared is 4, so it's going to equal 9 mod 7, which gives us 2. So we write that here, and now it gives us 2. So in index 2, we place the value 5. And last but not least, we have the value 20. And we use the hash function, so we get 20 mod 7, which is equal to, um, if I'm doing my math correctly again, 6. And we get another collision. So, of course, we use our algorithm there. H of 20 is equal to 20 plus 1 squared mod 7 which gives us 21 mod 7, which equals 0. And that's already taken. So again, we're going to increment our i value. So now it's 2 squared, which gives us 24 mod 7. And if I am correct again with my math, this will give us 3. So in index 3, we place the value 20. So thank you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, please leave likes, comments, questions. Uh, please subscribe. You can become a supporter uh, on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching. And I see you on the next video.